we're gonna do some problems with simple interest. And of course, we gotta get Charlie out. He better be ready to go. We're yeah. Your favorite subject, simple interest problems. Mm -hmm. go right there simple interest now some people call this formula pert that's because i equals prt where i is the interest p is the principal r is the interest rate and t is the time in years now in some cases we take out a loan for 90 days in which case we have to convert days to years and that conversion that's used with the simple interest formula is that one year is 360 days. That's because the average of all of our 12 months is 30 days, and 30 times 12 is the 360. But we all know that in a year, there's 365 days, or actually 365 and a quarter days. That's why every fourth year we have leap year day. Anyway, let's get to work, Charlie, right here. Now, a student takes out an emergency loan for $600 for school supplies. The interest rate is 6% annually. How much interest does a student have to pay after six months? Now, notice here our time is not a full year, it's six months. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now, our interest is what we're gonna calculate, right? How much interest does a student have to pay? The principal is 600, the rate as a decimal is 0 0.06, and the time in years, Charlie, Six months is how much of a year? Half. That's right, so 0.5 years. And now we use our formula, I equals PRT. Our principal is 600. Our rate as a decimal, 0 0.06. And our time is 0 0.5 for a half. Okay, Charlie, what do you get for that product? 18, that's right, $18. So after six months, the student has to pay how much, Charlie? 18. Six, That's eight. right, $618 total to pay off that loan, right? Because the student has to pay $18 of interest. All right, that's what we just calculated. All right, Charlie, let's do another one. A student needs a 90-day loan for $750, okay? The annual interest rate is 18%. Woo, be careful with that. How much does the student pay the lender after 90 days? So. The student's gonna pay off the loan in 90 days, but let's figure out how much he has to pay, right? He's gotta pay some interest plus the amount he borrowed. All right, so we're gonna use our simple interest formula. I is what we're gonna to try to calculate. Principal is 750. Now, what's the rate, Charlie? Remember, it has to be a decimal. And so what is it? 0.18. That's right. Remember, you gotta move the decimal two places to the left. And now, the time in years. Now, here's where we have to be careful because the time we're given is 90 days, and that has to be converted into years. And so, Charlie, we were told at the beginning of this lecture that one year is how many days? 360. And that's right. So to convert that 90 days to years, it's 90 divided by 360, or it's that fraction of a year. That's another way of thinking about it. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do conversions in the next lecture, by the way, so we'll talk more about this conversion here. Now, so here's our formula. I equals our principal, which is 750, our interest rate, which is 0 0.18, and our time in years. Now, Charlie, what's this quotient? 90 divided by 360. 0 0.25. 0 0.25. Very nice. And so now we get our product. And what is our product, Charlie? 33.75. That's right. $33.75. So that's how much interest the student has to pay on top of the money that he already borrowed. And so, Charlie, what's the total amount that the student has to pay after the 90 days? 73 points. That's right, you just sum those up and that gives it to you right there. So, that completes our simple interest lecture. That was so much fun. I think it's time for us to take a break and relax. We'll see you all again soon.